Chapter 280, Aftermath of the Battles. For the capture of the fort that I left to Waldo Kuhn, once Vampire Girl participated, it was finished off right away. Despite the humans who were holding it, Vampire Girl clearly cleared the defensive wall unaided with the, and invaded the interior. While creating a scene from hell, agonizing cries and all, the fort fell. Is seriously okay? That's, you know, going a bit overboard, perhaps? And not like I can say anything, though. She seemed rather irritated about something. The net result was that rather than a bloodless capture, a blood-drenched capturing of the fort was accomplished, and the 10th Army and the survivors of the 7th Army are currently occupying it. A decision is made to entrust it to the surviving commanding officers from the 7th Army, and the 10th Army are scheduled to return back before long. Though it's occupied like it's... it's not like there's many prisoners or anything due to a lack of survivors. While the chances of the humans coming to recapture the fort are not non-existent, they're probably in a mess as well anyway, so I'm sure they won't be moving soon, so it's not necessar necessary to leave many soldiers here. And beyond that, I want the 10th Army to be able to move freely for the upcoming capture of the Elf Village. The other armies are either withdrawing or occupying the captured forts. The second army was supposed to have assimilated the assaulted the fort themselves, but due to the Boobian scheme, it became covered with monkeys, so instead they're standing guard to prevent the monkeys from flooding into the demon territories. Well, with regards to it developing into standing guard, uh, maybe the Boobian has, ulter has the ulterior motive of wanting to keep her forces close at hand, perhaps? If they returned, although they would be uninjured due to the need for to supplement the other armies and so on, they'd be pulled apart, and it may be unavoidable to perform a reorganization anyway, which is why she didn't want to return. Maybe she's thinking of retaining her forces if possible and opposing the Demon King or something. The third army is currently occupying the fort it took. The, giant, the idiot giant is overly kind, and despite it being a war, he's providing good treatment to his enemies who became prisoners. Because of that, there's unnecessary additional effort involved, so I think they'll be unable to leave for a while. The fourth army is currently in the middle of retreating because they promptly withdrew from the battlefront. I'd say they'll probably, I yeah, I'd say they'll probably be the first to return back for, to the demon territories. Well, Mera's commanding them, so I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. The fifth army is likewise in the middle, in the middle of retreating. They've suffered more damage than the fourth army, so at a town along the war, on the, uh, along the way, they'll have to give treatment to the injured soldiers and resupply. Particularly because there's many injured soldiers, they might end up staying in that town for a long time. But either way, they probably won't be moving anytime soon. The sixth army is also in the middle of retreating. They're in an even more pitiful state than the fifth army. The general of the Shoda died in battle, and many of the soldiers have also been lost, excluding the first army, which was completely annihilated. I guess they've suffered the most damage because it'll be almost impossible to reorganize them as an army, I think they'll probably be disbanded and distributed among the other armies. Well, similarly to the 5th army, um, it'll probably take some time before they can return though. The 8th army are returning in triumph, since they won after all. I think it would be incorrect to say that they are retreating, however their mood is about as heavy as if they'd been defeated. Onikun demonstrated his brutality and the battlefield became hell after all. Battlefields are always hell, but its deeds thrust, thrust it down to the very bottom of hell. Scary, scary. The fort they were supposed to occupy was completely destroyed, so having no reason to stay, they're making their return in triumph. Prisoners? You think there are any? The Ninth Army didn't leave in the first place, so omitted. Uh, since that's a Demon King army, th that's not a Demon King army. Since that's a Demon King army, that's not a Demon King army. Yeah, I don't know. So in the end, well, yeah, I get it. It's it's a Demon King army that isn't a Demon King army. It's a, It's... It's an army that's not under the control of the Demon King, basically, is what she's saying. Because <laughs> it's the dragons. So in the end, the only one that can currently move freely is the Demon King's directly controlled army only. That Demon King's directly controlled army is supposed to focus on the defensive battles in the Demon Territory, so I guess they can, can't just move at a moment's notice after all. Well, to be blunt, just the Demon King by herself would suffice for defense, so just by itself that suffices. It's necess if necessary, the puppet spiders and remaining Queen Terratex could be summoned anyway. There's no army that's ready for action. Well, if you think that means that there's nothing to do, that's not the case either. Dealing with the aftermath of the battles is a considerably important job after all. To heal wounded soldiers, medicine, or personnel who can use treatment magic need to be dispatched on site. There's a replenishment of the supply trains. The collective amount of damage and the number of surviving soldiers needs to be determined. From there, a reorganization plan needs to be pre prepared. Otherwise, it won't be possible to move them out to the capture of the elf village. There's quite a lot of work that is never-ending. For those, I'll just delegate it all to Filmina-chan. Actually, please help me. Do your best. I hate something. I have something I need to do. I am actually being serious here. I want to get. Eh, I want to get rid of as many elves and their collaborators as possible, since I've taken advantage of this opportunity to come out. The elves and those collaborators happen to be lurking in countries all over the world. 
You can just tell how wide their area of activity is by considering the fact that they have a teleportation cr port point created in the demon territories. Since they can use teleportation, it's no easy matter to exterminate them. Or actually, probably impossible. However, if I make use of this to try, then I should be able to constrain them somewhat. Well, anyway, I'll be crushing the cyborg bodies that Potamus has put so much time and effort into. When I include a requirement that they that any members we have here must be able to do that, then the number of potential members is limited. In that case, the other side should be cautious. Whether they withdraw to the Elf Village or attack us in return, I should be able to expect some kind of action. If they withdraw, withdraw to the Elf Village, then I'll locate the teleportation circle to the Elf Village that they've been desperately trying to conceal. If they go on the offensive, then I'll be able to make the further analysis of the Elves' combat potential. Either way, it can only be a positive outcome for us. Hmm. While we're at it, I guess I'll raise Vampire Girl's level at the same time. By capturing the fort, Vampire Girl's level should have risen by a fair amount, but I'm sure there's still plenty of room for progress. Therefore, let's go. Like I've been saying, what do you mean by therefore? I grabbed Vampire Girl, who was taking a break with Waldekun in the fort. We're not now. Eh. We're now going to teleport around the world and raid the positions of the elves and their collaborators. Basically, a mini world tour. <laughs> yeah. The the little the um the, the the translator note there. It's it's funny, yeah. Uh-huh. Um cool. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>